Hi, Tales of Wagon family. I'm here with my friend, Philip. We all know this super cool dude. I thought I'd um, show you how we're teaching him to settle. So one of the first things that we're gonna do, in this process, we're gonna be using uh, a lure. So I'm holding a lure. In this case, I'm using food as a lure. We can A lure can be anything that motivates your puppy, but in this case, Philip says cheese. So I'm holding a treat directly in front of his nose. Notice that I'm not up here, I'm not down here, I'm not out here, I'm right here. So if I wanted to have Philip sit, I'm just gonna take that and lift that treat straight up and you'll notice how his bum automatically hits the floor. That's nice, Philip. And we'll have him stand and then sit this way. Yes, good job. And I'll reward that sit. So what we're working on today is his settle. So we like our puppies to know their sit first before we move. You're, you're all tangled in your leash. Before we move to the settle. Um, you'll notice in dog training that we, modern dog training, we don't teach the down very much any, anymore. We all know what the down looks like, right? The down looks where our puppies lay physically down and their hips are directly over their rear legs, but their, the front half of their body is kind of in that sphinx pose, right? We know now it's not a very comfortable position for dogs. And so, yes, they'll, we can certainly teach our dogs to do it, but it's not physically very comfortable. So we like them to be comfortable, of course, right? So our puppy, Philip, already knows how to do a sit, so I'm gonna take that lure and I'm gonna bring it directly down. Once his elbows hit the floor, I'm gonna take that lure and just go over his shoulder, yes. And you'll notice how he flops his hips down and that's the settle, that's what we're looking for. So in this case, my goal is to eventually teach him to settle from a standing position, but it helps puppies to start with a sit, moving down and then settle. Notice that Philip can do his settle on both sides. Our puppies are right and left pawed, just like we are right and left handed. Some puppies are ambidextrous, just like um, we can write with both our, both our right and our left. Some people can. And so for puppies, because they haven't yet learned that behavior yet, we like to practice on both sides. Oh, that's nice, Philip. The reason that we like to practice on both sides is because it builds pelvic floor strength and it aids in potty training. So it can absolutely help your puppy, yes, um, have better potty control, yes. Philip, all done. So uh, to kind of recap, we're gonna first teach our puppy to sit, then we're going to bring that lure very slowly down and then take that treat and bring it over towards our puppy's shoulder. And then that's that settled position that we're looking for, yes. It's a much more physically comfortable position for our puppies to be in, so we can ask them to hold that for longer periods of time. Um, that down position is more of an anticipatory position. They can bounce right back up from it. So um, we're gonna continue to work on this with Philip, and as the weeks to come, we'll work on teaching him to hold his settle so he doesn't just bounce right back up from it again. No, Philip, I know. All right, if you have any questions, you can always reach me or Philip here at Tails Wagging.